All right, so I want to give a shout out to Jobber for sponsoring this channel and sponsoring today's video. So what is Jobber? Jobber is a software I use to organize and power my entire business. From quoting the project, to sending invoices, to getting paid. Jobber software brings everything together to make your projects easy to manage and your customer experience seamless. As I'm going on almost 800 some videos on YouTube, a lot of you have been following me on my journey and starting off as a technician, getting my contractor license, forming my LLC and starting my own business. And I would just wish I knew of a software like Jobber when I first started. And I truly started from the bottom. Let me show you what I started out with. It was these papers right here from Walmart, the carbon copy papers. This when I first started running calls, I had to actually fill in the, the, the customer name. And, and, and trust me, this was a hassle trying to keep up with. I actually had to fill in the customer name. They, they had this little description box, one through 10, but it was a condenser fan motor. If I did a maintenance, I had to put the price on, price on here. I had to put the amount on here and I had to total it up, put the customer name and address. So imagine trying to keep up with something like this in this book right here. So I had to fill these out. And when I first started, these are two, these are carbon copy. I didn't know which one to get a customer. I didn't know if I should get a customer, the white paper or the yellow paper. And then after that, I called myself upgrading and I went to these right here. I went to Office Depot and I ordered me some of these off their website and I put my company name down. I don't know if you can see this right here, but they, they, uh, I don't know if you see this right here, but I actually had to write in my company address because they put the home address on here and just starting the business out. You don't have the funds to make mistakes. So I had to just scratch that out. And this was actually one of the first installs I did was installing a condenser unit right here. And man, I was happy. But these right here was, was a little more high tech to me because, you know, I had my, my company name right here, Washington AC and Heating. It had that printed on there. So I came a long way from the general Walmart sales book to these right here. So I felt kind of better. It, it, it kind of looked more organized organized for me in more detail because I had look it, it has condenser units on here it has the furnace it has refrigeration so I can just check that I, you know I thought I felt good in the description box I have my my handwriting is not legible at all I probably the only one can read it so the homeowner pro probably couldn't even read this but it says replace condenser unit train three tons 16 sear I replaced the filter dryer. I added a sight glass. I flushed the system out with RX-11. I replaced R22 TXV with a 410A TXV. Leak check with nitrogen. Pulled, pulled a vacuum under 500 micron and verified proper operation. Grand total, I charged this customer $3,100. Today, that probably would have doubled. I, well, it, it would have doubled. He had R22 in there. I had to flush it out with R RX11. If I was doing that with a software like Jabba right now, I promise that price would, would have tripled or double at least. But at the end of the day, with me just giving the customer something like this, I did not feel com uh, comfortable of charging them that much. And I, you know, I was just happy it was my first job. But now Jabba just makes me seem more professional, more a more larger company, and I got more overhead and it allows me the confidence to charge what I charge. And all my systems, if I install this system right here, come with at least a one-year labor warranty. And that's another thing. With a software like Java, everything is like in the cloud. Everything is on file. You can always, it can be 5, 10, 20 years from now, you can always be able to go back and find out what you did, you know, just for warranties. You know, a year later, just a click of a button. I can go to the customer history and find find that customer to find out it's under warranty. I have uh I have so many invoices 
that I was just so or, or, uh, unorganized. Just, just imagine this customer would have called me back a year later. I probably couldn't even find this uh, paper right here. So moving on. So then after that, I upgraded a little more and I still have some of these. I went to, the, I actually got my company logo on the next one, as you can see. And it, it's pretty much the same Office Depot form, but with my company logo on it this time with the correct phone number. I had my email address. I had my company website. I had all that on this, this one right here. And it comes with like three carbon copies. And I, I probably still didn't know which one to get the customer, but that was the upgrade right there. And, but job, Jobber, like I say, job, Jobber just make, make things so much easier, so much easier. Um, even your CPA is going to really appreciate it because imagine your CPA. Oh, yeah. So, so before, um, so I, I did another upgrade before I found Java, which was QuickBooks. Because when I mentioned CPA, that made me think about QuickBooks. So, QuickBooks, so the QuickBook invoicing, I just knew I was doing something then. I, I didn't. I didn't think I needed software like Jabra when I had QuickBooks, right? The QuickBooks, I can send my invoices, I can send estimates, I can email them to the customer, and it kind of looked professional. But Jabra, man, has this so much more to offer just as far as sending quotes, sending requests. This right here, when I first started, let me open these up. These are the first cards I had right here. See these cards right here? I got these off uh, Vista Print, off the cards right here. Then I upgraded to the cards right here, which, which had my logo on here. And I rarely give out cards anymore, but these look a lot more professional. I still give out cards, but with Jobber, everything is paperless. So Jobber has, I'm going to try to share my screen with you. And I'm not going to go over everything that, that they offer. Just click on the link in the description below if you want more details. But Jobber even have, uh, see this right here? Let me see. Oh, this one. This right here says requests. I can, instead of business cards, because people lose business cards. I get business cards all the time. People lose them. Um, when I want a company or when I think about a company, I can't find that business card. I needed an electrician the other day, and I know an electrician that gave me his car. I can't find that car. So everything now, and, and people, even if you got a car, some people now want to take a picture of your car so they'll have it in your phone. But Jobber has this thing called requests. And you can you can just you can email them a request or you can ask for their phone number and text them the request. And they they and they're gonna have what we call the client hub. So if they need any service from you, they can go to the, uh, they can fill out their request form and all it is a link. They'll fill out the uh, request form, the request form or ask them, you know, what their problem is, what the description of their problem is, what time of day, their time of day and their availability. So, so I had a bunch of requests. Let, let me see if I can put, pull up one real quick. So the request form is like a virtual card to me. That's how that's how I use that's how I use it now. Instead of giving somebody a card, because like I say, they're gonna uh, lose that card. So the request form, you send it to them, text message via email, and it, it's gonna have service details. Please provide as much information as you can. Schedule an appointment if available. Which day works best for you? What is another day that works best for you? What are your preferred arrival times, anytime, morning, afternoon, or evening? And just eternal notes. So on my end, I get that request, and I get the request all the time because these request forms are on my website also and is on Google My Business. So the customer don't, because a lot of people just, they don't want to talk on the phone. They just want to either text or email or fill, or fill out this client hub. And this client hub always going to stay with them. They don't never have to call anymore. If they want to request, if they want to request maintenance, service, install, whatever they need to do, 
or they or they just have a question to ask they can put that on there and i can just call them and try to answer their question so that's another benefit of, of java software so you don't have to spend your money on business cards in, anymore and that's your virtual business card right th- right there and like i say and i kn- i wish i knew a lot of this stuff when i first started but i'm your boy wwa's back and i'm sharing this information with you so going back to quickbooks the only thing quickbooks can do is really send invoices and estimates and kind of keep up with your uh, accounts and balances but jobber does all of that and more from creating quotes scheduling jobs invoices getting paid on time getting paid you know when the job is complete i can actually set up routine maintenances so i have a customer that want to schedule routine maintenance that have that want to put a credit card on file jobber allows me to do that if i have a commercial client that want to put a credit card on file and they want quarterly maintenance i can schedule all that in the jobber software and it'll send me reminders it'll send the customer reminders that they have an appointment coming up so way more you can do with the jobber software i'm going to show you one more thing before i let you go so just imagine if the customer filled out a request form whether that be via the website google my business or text message that i sent them or email that i that i sent them that's all we're doing right here the customer is walter washington has his address down his phone number and his email i'm gonna go ahead and convert this to a job right here or i can convert it to a quote you say if the customer needed a new install i convert i can convert it to a quote or i can convert it to a job I'm just going to convert this into a job right here. I'm going to put uh, the start date, August 18th. End date is going to be August 18th. But we're just going to say he need a, a capacitor or a condenser fan motor. Okay, start time, let's put um, 9 a.m. And I can do this all on my phone or my iPad also. We're going to schedule him from a 9 to 9 to 11 a.m. I'm going to pick my technician, which is going to be me. And if I need to put a job form on here, as you see, I have plenty of job forms made out. A job form I have on some of my past videos where this say residential split system plan maintenance. It's just a checklist. As this say, a 21 point expect, inspection is all on there. I can put refrigerant pressures, um, you name it, you can custom design it however you want to. All right. So let's let's go to they need a service charge. So I got my service charge for a line item that's going to be $99. And let's say he need a condenser fan motor. And all these are my prices that I exported in. So we need a condenser fan motor. Let's say he needed to replace a 8, 825 RPM condenser fan motor and run capacitor. That's going to be $907. Okay. And all I have to do is save this job right here or save and email booking confirmation or text booking confirmation. I am going to text the booking confirmation. As you can see, your appointment with Washington AC and Heating is booked for August 12th or August 18th at 9 a.m. Arrival times are estimated and may not be exact. They give me a little window. And you can customize this however you want to. So I'm going to text that information. And you can see it will pop up on my phone here. Let's see if, when it go through. As you can see, it just popped up. So if this was the customer, they'll get a confirmation that I will be coming whatever day that we had scheduled. So I'm going to go to my text message. And here it is right here. You know how well you can see it. But it says, your appointment with Washington AC is booked for August 18th, arrival, uh, 9 a.m. Arrival times are estimated. The same as you see on here. And like I say, this is the client hub. You see this link right here. They can view more details right here. 
that's going to pop up and you see how professional this look. Your appointment, got my logo on here. See how professional that look? And that's exactly how the customer is going to see it. It's a menu right here also. They can click. Remember, I was telling you, when they got the client hub, see, they always have your con contact information. I know you probably can't see that well on my phone, but um, it says um, in, the, in their client hub, you can request, you can get quotes, you can see the, uh, their appointments, you can see invoices, past invoices. But this, since I just clicked on this, this one, it says you haven't received any invoices yet. Let's go back to the menu. You can go to wallet. Wallet, I think you can, they can add a credit card. As you can see, they can add all those methods of payments. So it's pretty cool. And it, as you can see, power by Jobber. And they can log out. And look at that. You can, they can refer a friend also. So once, once they click that refer a friend, same thing. It's going to send them a request. So you can't do all that with paper. So if you're ready to upgrade, ready to scale your business, take your business to the next level, give job a, a shot. I promise you, you won't regret it. As you can see, I'm always enthusiastic when I even speak about it. So I, I'm just thankful they reached out to me and, and sponsored my channel. If you are curious about how software can help organize your business and give you more freedom, check out my link in the description below and learn more info. I could make more videos and give you more detailed information how to walk through, but Jobber has the best customer service. They come second to none. They won't leave you hanging dry. They do got actual people that you can talk to to get help, to get you set up and get started. They're going to do follow-throughs. They can walk you through how to do everything. They're going to make sure you're comfortable and your team is comfortable with using their product. Like I say, you can call them. You can actually talk to a person. But if you want to text them, they do have tech support with that text also, or you can email them back and forth. However you want to communicate, like I say, they have a five-star customer service. They come second to none. As always, thanks for watching.